In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how you can create these highly effective alcohol link painted containers. They can be made in minutes and they look super cool. So stick around, that's coming up next. Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Art with Jay Monteith and today I'm really excited to be sharing with you this super fun, super easy and effective way of using your alcohol inks on uh, any type of container and in this case I'm using alcohol inks on a vase uh, and that can be used on a number of different, applic different applications including uh, containers for your paint brushes and your pens uh, as well as you know a container for your potted plants it looks really really pretty and it's really easy to do very very effective so let's go ahead and get started I will show you all the things that you need in order to create this fun project today okay so the items that you'll be needing today to complete this project are quite simply a few uh, different types of vessels so uh, ceramic non-porous surfaces uh, is what you need so I've got a couple of different sizes I just picked these up uh, locally at the dollar store um, or Walmart or you know someplace where you can find inexpensive uh, type containers so I think these will be perfect I'm doing several here so I've got a few different sizes but they're all white and then of course you'll be uh, needing your inks whatever color inks that you'd like to use and as usual, I am using the Jacquard uh, Pinata line. Today, I'm going to be using some Baja Blue, um, a little bit of Rainforest Green, a touch of Passion Purple, and of course, uh, some Metallic. So those are the colors that I'm going to be using today. I'm going to be mixing a couple of custom colors. I'm looking for like a a greeny, bluey, kind of sagey gray blue color. That's you're going to need a uh, brush pen of some sort. I'm actually just using my um, Pentel uh, water brush. I'm just not filling it, but I really do uh, like the tip and the way that it moves. So I'm going to be using that. You can use um, a regular brush if you like. And then the other uh, tool I'm going to be using today is um, a new pen that I found that I really, really like by Krylon. It's the 18 karat gold leafing pen. Um, really, really nice uh, effect and finish on any type of um, glassware or ceramic, that sort of thing. Uh, so I'll leave the link again to all of these products uh, in the description box below. So if you want to purchase anything, feel free. The other uh, important uh, component of this project to make everything flow and work well um, are, of course, um, uh, blending solution, it, which is the one by Tim Holtz or the Adirondack. Adirondack Ranger line or the one that I like to use is the uh, again Jacquard the extender so the blending solution and the extender as I've mentioned in previous videos they do the exact same thing so it just depends on what brand you would prefer now if you are not sensitive to smell and you're very cautious with ventilation and safety and that sort of thing instead of using the blending or the extender because it can be uh, costly in the amount that you need you can go ahead and purchase um, uh, pure alcohol now you need 99 percent you can buy 91 percent but it um the 90 the difference between the two is that the 91 percent is uh, made up of more water and so when you use that it leaves sort of like pock marks or dimples in your work so if you can get the 99 percent then use that however as i mentioned before if you're sensitive to smells um, and you don't have the proper ventilation and you want to take um, all the safety precautions necessary then please uh, pay pay up and pay the extra money for um, the extender or the blending solution because they don't have um, well they hardly have any smells so these are better for you in, in that regard so just choose wisely there and then of course uh, lastly you're going to be needing just sort of like a palette to mix your colors if you want or in my case I'm actually going to be using a couple of different containers um, so you just need some Tupperware or just you know even some throwaway containers uh, to mix um, your blending solution or your ink um, or alcohol and ink and everything all together in one container okay so I think that's everything that uh, we need so let's go ahead and start this project all right so the very first thing you need to do is just to get um, one of your Tupperware containers and uh, this is the size that I'm using today uh, because I'm just using a smaller uh, container to start with. So uh, what you need to do is to take your container and then uh, put in some alcohol, straight alcohol, or the blending solution. So I've actually just gone ahead and used the 99% uh, here because 
I've got lots of ventilation and I, I'm really not sensitive to um, these smells. So again, just be careful with what you're using here. Um, and then you can go ahead and, and choose your ink. So I've got um, probably about a, a quarter of a cup to half a cup of the alcohol in here. Now I'm going to be using, um, as I mentioned, some Baja Blue. So I'm just going to put a couple drops in there. I don't need too much because uh, the ink goes along here in a long way. And I just want it to sort of um, blend. Uh, so I have a flowy kind of uh, look on my ceramic vessel. And I'm gonna add a little bit of green here as well. Really don't need much of the green because this is heavily concentrated as well. Just to mix that around a little bit. This is almost like an aqua spa kind of look. And then I just wanna make it a little bit uh, of a gray undertone. So just a small amount of purple in there as well. So we get a bluey, purpley, greeny blue color. So um, it's gonna look really, really pretty. I think I might add just a tad more blue. There we go. And then I'm going to add my metallic gold to this as well. Remember to shake up your metallic. Now the other thing that you can add to this is um, glitter. Glitter works really, really well on this um, because sometimes the metallic will sit to the bottom and it doesn't mix as well. So you just want to make sure that everything's mixed really, really well. Okay. So I'm going to just use a green, this one's been used a little bit before, I haven't actually cleaned it out, which I probably should. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just take my vessel and um, you wanna make sure that it's clean to start off with. And obviously I've got blue on there already, so I'm just gonna clean that off with some alcohol before it sets. And again, your alcohol ink will dry really, really quickly on here. Okay, so that's cleaned off. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and start to pour this onto my vessel. So I'm just starting off with a very light layer to begin with. The other thing you can do is um, you can dip right into the container as well if you wanted to lay it down and you wanted to get the whole effect there okay so you're going you can't really see much right now on camera but I'm just going to be building up uh, layers so I get a flowy kind of layers here okay put that one down And then once that one, one is dry, you can go ahead and start with the um, next pour. So you just pour now back into the next container. So that way you don't waste any of the ink. So now you can see the colors just starting to build up here. It's going to look pretty. And then each round that I'll do, I'll start adding a bit more color. And you'll find too that um, the ink will set to the bottom so it'll leave some at the bottom there. So you want to uh, make sure that the ink is blended well. So if you wanna just make sure that that's spread out a little bit better, then just go over it again. Okay, I like the way this one's turned out so far. It's just some really bluey, purpley, uh, really subtle effects. And I just wanted to show you how I got the gold here as well as the glitter. So this one I've just gone ahead and started and 
I put my glitter in right away. So you'll notice that when it's the last little bit left over, uh, you get those little bits of glitter at the end. And then if you want to take your uh, gold, then you can start running it while the blending solution is still flowy in there. And you can get some uh, pretty nice veining effects going on in there. So I think this is kind of a nice look the way this one's turning out. So this one's almost done. And again, this is a very subtle look. Uh, it's a very, very pretty effect. Uh, so I don't want to overkill here with too much uh, ink. Um, so I think that one is actually pretty good. I think I'm just going to leave that one as is. And then I have one more I'm going to finish off and the bigger one. And then we'll go ahead and um, go ahead with the brushing with the ink. All right, I am almost finished my last one. I've just added a bit more uh, gold, uh, the metallic gold, and I've sprinkled in a, uh, on a bit more glitter as well. Um, but you can see how pretty that looks right there. Oh my gosh, these are so pretty. I almost wanna leave them as is. I don't know if I wanna actually add any more uh, writing or anything to them. Uh, it almost looks like a rock formation or a landscape. Uh, so pretty. So the key to uh, when you add, as I mentioned, the gold is you can put some on and then you can just sort of let it sort of uh, work its way around and you can spin it too while it's still wet and it'll go around the container. So I think I'm going to leave that as is. Let these dry and then we'll go ahead, as I've already mentioned before, and I keep saying we're going to get to, but now we'll go ahead and uh, start brushing on our uh, text. Okay, I have decided not to go ahead with my writing, but I am going to do some embellishment with um, the Krylon gold pen. Um, I've just decided that I think I'm going to leave the water brush uh, for a technique for another time. I'm actually going to do some embossing with a heat gun, so I'm going to show you how to do that another time. I like these the way they are. I think sometimes when you're you know, going through a process and you decide on something, there's nothing wrong with changing your mind, and I tend to do that. If you do follow me and watch my videos, I change my mind all the time. So uh, I'm going to just use the uh, embellishing pen, like I said. So this pen is great for a number of different things. If you don't have the pinata gold or you would like some more control, uh, then you can definitely use this pen uh, to make uh, a few other little markings. So you can literally just draw with this pen and it will dry really, really well. You can actually also draw with it. Um, you can do all kinds of little uh, designs and doodles or whatever you'd like to do. And the great thing about this pen is it has a chisel tip. So you can uh, do really, really thin lines or you can do uh, really thick lines. So whatever you'd like to do, uh, you can go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do a little bit of embellishing on some of these and then I think I'm gonna leave it as is. I'm going to put in a few plants and I'll just show you the finished uh, look when I'm done. Okay guys, I've decided to leave well enough alone and I've decided against uh, any type of writing or text onto my containers because I think they look pretty just the way they are. And sometimes simple wins out in the end and in this case, I think it truly does look good just the way they are. I did go ahead and add a little bit more embellishment or line work with the 18 karat gold leafing pen from Krylon. And I have to admit, this is probably one of my favorite tools right now. So if you haven't tried this yet, then I would definitely recommend. It's great for line work, drawing, any type of um, illustrating on glass and ceramic. It has a great finish. And of course, my favorite, the Jacquard Panana Rich Gold, as well as a little bit of glitter because glitter makes everything look good. Well, that's it today, guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you found value in this video and you enjoyed, then please give it a thumbs up, like, and share. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for weekly art videos. Thanks again for watching. I appreciate your time as always, and we will see you guys again real soon.